Here we are in DigitalOcean's App Platform dashboard. So App Platform is a unique offering from DigitalOcean because it lets us, as it says here, focus on the code, not on our servers. So if we go here and say, launch your app, the first thing we're greeted with is this really cool select a repo UI. Now, if you've deployed the DigitalOcean droplets before, you know that you have to SSH in, you have to set up some SSH keys, do a git clone, maybe do a little bit of fancy work so that your deploys are triggered by your pushes to your branches on GitHub. But here, if I just say, hello, Laravel, which is, and I'll show you real quick right here, this GitHub repo I have here, hello-laravel, is a very starter app for Laravel. I just did a Laravel new. We go back to DigitalOcean, and I'll click Next here. Now we can say, hello, Laravel is the name of our app. We can click on our region. I'm gonna go over to New York City. We can deploy from a branch, and what's cool here is this checkbox says, auto-deploy code changes. So anytime an update is made to this branch, this will automatically deploy our app, and that is amazing. So if we click next here, we can see that our app is detected as a PHP app because it is a Laravel app. And what's cool is we can add environment variables right here in the creation workflow. So I'm gonna grab app name, and we'll call it hello Laravel. And I'm gonna go for another one for app URL. And what's cool is App Platform gives us some environment variables out of the box, and App URL is going to be the app URL for where this application can be viewed. Now, the other thing we need to add for a Laravel app, I'm just going to copy it from my local app. I have an app key, and this is a key that you generate locally or on the server. And this is how Laravel kind of uses to encrypt different things in its app. So here we are, we have our environment variables. I'll close that out. We have a build command, which we're probably gonna set to composer install. And we have our run command, which we're gonna let DigitalOcean take care of that. I'll hit close. And our port is 8080 for where our app listens to. That's not really relevant to us. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit next. And this is going to get us to the pricing page. So for our Laravel app, it's kind of a hello world app, so a prototype, the basic tier, is good enough for us. There's also the pro tier for our production level applications. But what's really interesting is that you can change this after the fact. So let's say our app starts getting a lot of traffic. We can go in and change this and upgrade it to the pro account. Next up, we select a size for our container. $5 a month will do just fine. Number of containers, you can scale up right here by switching up to these two different offerings or we can switch to horizontal scaling and add containers. So far, our monthly app is $5. Let's leave it right there. I'll hit launch basic app. And this is gonna go ahead, grab all of our data from our repo, from GitHub, go ahead and deploy it. And what's cool is it'll say building right here. We can hit details and this will take us to the deployments tab. You can scroll down here and see the entire build for what you are deploying. So we'll let this go ahead and run all of its stuff right here. You can see the building right here. Now, while that's building, the cool thing is that we can go to this components tab and we have a basic Laravel app right now, but a Laravel app, as it grows, you wanna add stuff to it. So you would want to add a database to it. A service is what this Laravel app is considered, any backend service that is accessible from the internet. A worker is any backend service that is private to our application. A static site we can add as far as like a React app, a Vue app, a Next app, Gatsby app on the front end. And a database we can add and connect that directly to this Laravel app that we're deploying right now. So that's the really cool part of App Platform is that it gives us all of these four things that we can deploy all from one dashboard. So we're not having to jump around between a couple different products. All right, so we have our application deployed successfully now. We have the option to click live app here. We have the option to click the URL right here and go to our app. We can see the details of this deployment. And if we go down here, we'll see all of the cool things. Our composer install worked out just fine. And our deployment right here, our app is ready for connections on port 8080. So let's, without further ado, come up here, click on our app. And here we are in our Hello from Laravel, deployed to DigitalOcean,
So all in all, really, really cool stuff we can deploy from GitHub. We can redeploy automatically after a push is made to our GitHub repo. We can go ahead and add components as in a database, a worker, or a front-end static site. And we can do all of that with just a couple clicks from the app platform dashboard.